I'm Stacy. And we're here. <laughs> we are, finally. Yeah. It's Wednesday. It is. Yeah. We normally meet on a Monday or an off day, but yeah. today's Wednesday. Yeah, Monday I was in a little off bit day. of a funk, yeah. so we went for a drive instead of mm -hmm. spreading the funk across the internet. Yeah, it was a good <coughs> drive. It was nice to get away, see Sorry. what was going on. Yeah, um, it was a good drive. Did you hear that spring? Yeah. It's going to rebel and poke one of us in the eye before it's over This with. may attack. <laughs> We're if not you, sure. If you touch that one just right, it springs straight up. After I unplugged it. Too oh, surely enough. it is. Should we check? Okay. It'll pick you up a little bit yeah. here. If not. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so last week we left you and we went um, to Ooh. Mirrors and we got cobbler. Cobbler because they didn't have pudding. No pudding. We did make it in time. Everyone was friendly our waitress was friendly but as soon as we walked in that lady talked and i knew it was her that was on the phone and mm -hmm. she was having a bad day she said what are you here for mm -hmm. when we were standing to waiting next to the yeah. sign that says please wait to be seated yeah and i well first they tried to force an application on you yeah right? they did try to give me an application <laughs> to that, work for them that would have been we should have just killed it out and showed up one day <laughs> it's gonna be my new thing i'll take a job yeah <laughs> Yeah, well, <laughs> the lady that was there for the application was probably 60, you think, at least? A hard 60, yeah. but I think she was probably like 62, 63. And people can wear whatever they want. I'm, I don't well, care, but well, case, I'm old school. Whatever they want. Apparently, mm -hmm. um, I think when you go to apply for a job, you should at least be yeah. covered up. Considering it's going to be a food service type position where you would be leaning, bending. Yeah. This was not the case with her. That thin, it reminds me of something. Okay. But that, that thin tank top, not like a, a fitting tank top, but like one of the, where like the, the fat, you know, straps go down to here. Yes. And the fabric then starts. Yes. With no There's. Support. It's like it has no structure. Yeah. It's, it's, it's I might throw on. Under something, maybe I might sleep in that. Yeah, sleep yeah. in it would be good because it would be too wrinkled for me through here. I would choke myself on it in my yeah. sleep though because <laughs> it was know. like, um, but I would throw it on under something for like warmth, yeah, for layer, yeah. But it probably did go with like pajama bottoms now that I think about it. It was, it was that super maybe thin. like the uh, out at the lake, you just want something on the boat, yeah. you know, like yeah, over your your swimsuit or bikini mm -hmm. or whatever. Your hair looks cute. It's still wet. It's just so, so humid outside. It just didn't dry like I thought it would. It's weird. Mine was dry, and then it started separating. Oh, that's what I'm looking forward to because I have no it's product in just, my hair. So it's going to get bigger probably yeah, the longer. Yeah, I think it's actually static in the air, not just humidity. I, I think that's right because Dad and Turner were over there sawing, and um, mm -hmm. I was just in the wind. I have, like, the sawdust on me. Yeah. And... Uh, it will not. It's like it just kind of moves over. It doesn't actually like leave. It's like come yeah. back. It's like um, magnetic. So I I being something I shouldn't have the other day. What? And I said being because as you know, yes. changing my search engine to being, giving it a shot. You know, just to explore options. Well, um, I was looking for a certain type of shirt for a certain reason. Okay. And I typed it in. Mm -hmm. In the way I would describe it, and if I described it to you, you know exactly what I'm talking okay. about. But I typed in, old lady, see-through blouse, pearl buttons. Yeah, I know what that Don't is. Don't type that in. <laughs> it is what I'll flag as a not safe search. Um, <laughs> it was unpleasant, what I experienced. And I have a lot to look forward to as I age, apparently. That's all I'm going to say about that. Um, mm -mm. When, back when you would get the AOL CDs in the mail to have internet, and you were supposed to have two phone lines because it was dial-up, Yeah. my mom had a doll when she was a kid, and it had quit working, you know? So it was a Thumbelina doll. And you would wind it up oh, wow. in the back, and it did something. I don't remember what it, if it cried and moved its arm. I don't know what it did, but it's cool. Mm -hmm. It's cool. She has it still, but she was wanting to replace the, the guts. Thing. Yeah. yeah. So she typed in wind up baby doll, old wind up baby doll. 
And this was pre, like, buffers being out there. She called me. I was like, Stacy, mm-hmm. be careful on the internet. <laughs> what happened, Mom? Describe it in detail. <laughs> and then that one time, I typed in a Hebrew dictionary. Yes. Because I was studying Hebrew, and I wanted to see a certain dictionary I didn't own. And I just typed in Hebrew dictionary. The things that popped up, it was like they were attacking me. They were, it used to be that yeah, way. Yeah, it was like yeah, rapid was fire. I grabbed, because Allison was playing on the floor behind me, I just grabbed the whole desktop and held it to me and screamed at Jeff. So he comes in hearing me screaming and <laughs> trying not to say anything bad. Like, get her out of here, get her out of yeah. here. <laughs> It was like I had a bomb that was about to explode. And you just like threw yourself on the grenade. <laughs> yeah, I did. Just kind of yeah, if I had just everyone up around and turned you. the screen off. That's not you no. know. I came home once. Um, I think I was in college at this point, but I came home to like my, my mom and dad's house and mom had a, one of the rooms closed off with a sign that said, Do not open this door <laughs> and then she had a rope tying the door shut. And then she had a couple chairs in front of the door. I was like, what you got trapped in there? But like, apparently it was an internet search gone awry and she didn't want anybody to stumble in there and I guess be scarred for life. Whatever she pulled up. God only knows. Good old days. Good old days. Yeah, there is no... Yeah, you have to be mm-hmm. super specific or super generic. Yeah. I think is better generic and, and then, hope for the yeah, best, and then start narrowing it down. But another thing I was thinking about was shoulder pads. Yeah, you know, not like the fashion shoulder pads. Yeah, that they were crazy. But I was looking at some of the old fashion like ideas and stuff because I was thinking the other day when I was wearing one shirt, I I actually liked those thin little shoulder pads. Because I used to, like, safety pin my bra strap, strap to it, yeah. and then you never had, like, stuff off Ball, the shoulder yes. and stuff. So that's actually, I couldn't find any shoulder pads like that. Now, I haven't gone into, like, a store that might have them. But I was looking on the Internet for them, and all the ones I saw were ridiculous. So that's why I was typing in those old <clears throat> lady blouses, because I remember they all had yes. those. You know what? The, those you, really small ones in the. If you don't get creeped out by it, we mm-hmm. may just go to Goodwill and go through their shirts because they would sew them in. We That's could just idea. unstitch them. That's a good then idea. We can put them in whatever shirt. That's a really good idea. Because I think if I like sew some snaps yes, on them, they make and those then the strips. ones I want to wear it with, I could you know yes. take them in and out. You know they make that fabric strip that has two snaps on it that you can sew in there, mm-hmm. and um. They, they're they made to sew into your shirt to hook your bra strap with and snap. That's, that's awesome. Um, but so you that's could sew awesome. it to your shoulder pad if you would that's rather awesome. have a shoulder pad. That's awesome. Keeps your, it's, it keeps your shirt up. It mm-hmm. doesn't keep your bra strap. Because I, I don't stand up much, but I have slopey shoulders. My shoulders aren't too broad. I wish they were. It might balance out my wide hips. <laughs> but... Um, <laughs> So I'm one of those that are constantly doing this, oh, you know, yeah. because everything just slips down. And I thought, if I just had an itch, yeah, you know, and yeah. something did, yeah, it would be I'll nice. Look those up in a little bit. <sighs> hmm. Well, I finished a book. That's awesome. A, Which one is a it? A book for pleasure. It is where the crawdads sing. Hey, it's a pretty book. It's it's a fantastic book. I. Normally don't read books that people go crazy about mm-hmm. because they're not my taste, but um, I have posted on Facebook, what's everybody reading right now? And uh, this one came up in a broad crisscross of personalities. So I thought, well, I'll um, try it. And I did, and I loved it. Nice. Um, I, won't, I don't want to say anything about it because anything I say might lend – Give it away. Yeah. Copyright infringement. (laughs) Yeah, that too. Who knows? Um, But if you're looking for a quick read, even for myself, an easy read, this is the book that you need. It's by Delia Owens. Mm -hmm. I think it was the first book she's ever written. Nice. Yeah. Very nice. I have to look. I read about her, but I can't remember what I read right now. 
I don't think I could ever publish something. I, I would have instant writer regret, you know, like I'd want to buy all the books and take them back off the shelf because oh, like, yeah, I, you'd have just, to use a pen. It would breed sure. anxiety. Yeah. Like, too much. You could do I a pen do name. Yeah. That might be easier. Yeah. Cause I would keep it a secret identity. I wouldn't let anybody know. Yeah. That was the hardest thing for me when I put stuff out there was to put my real name with it. Mm -hmm. um, not that I care what anybody thinks, but because I use my real name, I don't put out my intimate stuff. Hmm. The stuff that's important to me. If I put that out, it'll go under a and different That's probably name. like the stuff that's really good and people would really Maybe. want. See, that's the compromise, you <laughs> yeah. know? Because um, if you write it in a stage of fiction, you can take that emotion and apply it to that character. Yeah. And then discuss the emotion through that. But if you're not like a fiction writer and you're just doing like, you know, writing mm -hmm. and it parallels with you, you can't hide from that. Right. It would be overwhelming. Yeah. S already some of my stuff gets mixed up <clears throat> with people think that it's me that I'm talking about. Which is a compliment because I it write from a real. place that mm -hmm. seems real. Um, but really, a lot of that emotion just sparks from the way the wind blows through a, a open window. Mm -hmm. And then I imagine a whole scenario happening in that living room or that bedroom or that kitchen sink that mm -hmm. it's, you know, wherever, and build a story around it. But the part of me that's the true part is the the vision of the wind coming through the window and the curtain mm -hmm. moving. It would be good. I've read some of your stuff. I like your stuff. I have spent like two years trying to think of a pen name. I've even tried doing the stripper thing mm -hmm. where you use um, <clears throat> like your pet, your first pet's name in the street you live on, but I live on 18th Street. So I thought, well, I'll pick a street next to me, but that's Alabama and Georgia. <laughs> So it would Street be, names are not so creative in Chickasha. It would be Booger Bear, Alabama. <laughs> Unfortunately, that sounds like a town. So Booger Bear, Alabama, <laughs> does. So then I've tried like your birth month uh -huh. and your street name. So it would be uh, May, Alabama, which isn't awful. And then I tried just opening the ice box, and the first thing I saw, like making that be the name. <laughs> it was green beans <laughs> so I gave up that I even opened like... a dictionary mm -hmm. and like flip you know just hit a word to see if it would trigger mm -hmm. something but that sounds like an old <clears throat> folk singer like green, green bean, bean crutch bill yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that jazz album a while back was it jazz by like watermelon slim yes and then like all those yeah anyway I just had the weirdest look on my face. Leah did a good thing with her name, like on some of her stuff, like, because her name's Leah Danielle. That's her middle name. But she spelled Danielle, like, D-A-N-Y-E-L-L. -L, oh. Like, instead of her normal, like, D-A-N-I-L. And then she just did the L. So hers was, like, L Danielle. Oh. And it looks, like, really pretty yeah. written out. Yeah. My name's not... I wouldn't have anything. I couldn't do that with my name. I I have a couple of ideas that I won't discuss on here that I thought about doing um, that I may end up just having to pull the trigger and do it. But I don't know. I'm thinking about taking my medium down because, I don't know, it still gets hits on it, you know, but I'm not – I feel not completely satisfied with the no I just uh, it, people are encouraging on there and send messages and things but I think my reason for doing it was not right and so I think I'm going to move all those stories to my website I think you should definitely have them on your own yeah, website I don't and if I I have a mm -hmm. couple but it, I have one I know that's a link to mm -hmm. theirs. Well, that's, uh, you know. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. So I'm thinking about deleting it, and then when I come back, I may have, um, I may approach it for a different reason, and it would just feel better. 
I'm pretty sure I'm going to get rid of the vocal altogether, though. But I wanted to talk to you about that Sometimes first. Sometimes you got to redecorate, you know? Yeah. Might be For the real. same room, but you got to take everything down and then yeah, that's put where it I'm up at. in the way that reflects you now. Ooh, I, uh, you know, I've been wanting to make zines. I've made a couple. Mm-hmm. Um, but since the college print shops closed, there's nowhere for me to just get like a few copies. Yeah, like six copies of each thing. <coughs> and their copies are super, super cheap. But I just swallowed. No, you're fine. I just swallowed this wrong, so I'm going to be coughing oh, for like I've done that a year and a half. <laughs> yeah. Um, I want to make small zines, but I don't want to make the little books. So mm-hmm. I've been looking like, you know. Uh, when I taught Michonettes, we used to do little fold-outs with the scripture verse on them out of matchboxes. Oh, cool. Like, you'd slide it mm-hmm. out, and you could pull out the scripture verse. Oh, yeah. That, you know, and then you just had it. Um, and then we even decorated some empty ones. They could put little things in if they wanted to. And then you have the big matchboxes. So I was thinking about doing that. But um, I I'm just got really excited about this. I decided I was going to do matchbooks. Mm-hmm. So last night I got online to order a match, but I don't need a hundred, no. right? I just need a few, but I thought, well, it would be cool to have vintage matchbooks. I don't care if they're hotel, restaurant, or what, um, and I would just take the matches out because they just have that one staple in there and um, hook my paper in there and have it where maybe it unfolds this way and this way and this way. I don't know if I need it to be really long. So I thought, well, let me look up vintage because the I mean they're just normal matchbooks which would be fine if they were all identical but yeah. I really would like them to be mixed up yeah. or whatever so I was looking on eBay and Etsy and all these things for vintage matchbooks and they're about 50 cents a piece which is fine if I only want to do like six or whatever um, then I just like scrolled like four times and for 20 bucks I found a hundred matchbooks and almost all of them already have the stamps out and they're stacked wow. and rubber banded together and they're all vintage wow so there's no telling what i'm getting wow that's but i'm awesome. super excited because by that's the time awesome. i i mean i could pay three dollars for 50 matchbooks but they were they were all white um and then one was blue and you can order whatever you want on them you could mm-hmm. get into all that if you want to but here's what i know about matchbooks if you're a guy and someone's trailing you and you wear a coat and you put the matchbook in your pocket, the detective will come and find that when you pull your gloves out and it drops. Yes. And then they will be on to you. <laughs> yes. And whatever you were doing that wasn't up to par, they're going to know because yep, it'll you have dropped a, that matchbook. It'll have the restaurant's name on it. It'll and have the hotel's name on it. Undoubtedly, you will have opened it and yeah, written in. <laughs> A name or a, a number, number that just gives you away. I was going to just say that. Yeah. It's so true. That's all I know about matchbooks. <laughs> Women always got caught by their lipstick on yeah, glasses. Yeah, never mind DNA. It was... <laughs> you didn't need it back then. You had matchbooks. Mm-mm. Man, those detectives, those big city detectives <laughs> yeah. were like Navajo trackers. <laughs> Turner and I are watching a new series on Hulu. And I don't, I'm going to get the title wrong, but it's really like um, the number 11, like the number 26 and the number 16, it's a date and it's a time traveler thing. Mm-hmm. It's been out for a while, yeah, I guess. I've seen it. Have you seen, did yeah. you like it? Mm-hmm. Dean really liked it. Okay. I, Do you know how my mind's very critical okay, if yeah. things don't line up Okay, right. so... This is all I'm going to say about it, but Mm. Turner likes it, and I'm into it, and it's nice to have on. Mm -hmm. But the whole time he's in another time, he can't mess with anything because it'll mess up the whole timeline. Mm -hmm. Okay. Space time continuum if we learn anything from Back to the Future. Right. So the whole them pounding that into your head the whole time Mm -hmm. really bothers me because they're going back to kill someone. Mm -hmm. To stop a murder. Mm -hmm. So, okay, if my thing is whether the person in question that they're thinking about killing did it on his own or did it with a group of people, that just means if this group of people is committed enough, it'll just happen at a later date and and it, it won't be good then. 
for sure. And the guy, if he's acting on his own, what's to say would happen to his kids and if they would, you know, grow up hating mm. the government or... And see, the problem I have is, with any of that stuff, is, okay, they're so worried about, they go, they do something, they come back to kind of spot check to see if something changed, right? Right. Fair enough. But what you don't know is you've also rewritten the future that you're unaware of. Yes. So, for better or maybe worse. worse. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, so it, it's, um, I mean, let's, the balance extends beyond making a change to the present because the change may actually have been tomorrow and you just hadn't got there yet. Yeah. It's a, uh, you can't mess with that stuff. No. There is no. It's arrogant to yeah. think. What was that? Tom, no. Was it Tom Cruise movie where they could, they would, um, go back. Right, they had those things that those people things that floated in the water and could tell if somebody was going to murder somebody, yeah. and they would come and stop it right before it yeah. happened and arrest them off of the yeah. thought. I thought, oh Lord, yeah. I mean, it kind of made me think about God a little bit, mm -hmm. but uh, yeah. see, it's just yeah, very can't. arrogant, yes, to think with con your conceptual knowledge, the things you're able to perceive, that you can make a sound enough judgment taking everything into consideration, never mind your own personal opinions, that what you're doing is for the better of well, anyone, yeah. much I mean, less it could, mankind. It could all come down to, um, let's say that I see someone at a grocery store mm -hmm. and I tell them they look nice that day and it changes their mind. I'm not saying I would mm -hmm. do this. I'm just using myself as an example. Um, changes their mind. Um, about their personal appearance or not to kill themselves mm -hmm. and I have a full-on conversation with them about how great I think they are or yeah. whatever but you did something that caused a wreck and I was never born or you did something that made it where I have a different personality now yeah. um, then that person you know never gets that mm -hmm. conversation no. from me anyway so you can't go you can't go and mess with that even if it is possible mm -hmm. to travel in time. Just the sheer fact that you're um, making a footprint somewhere else could adjust everything. Yeah, seriously, or s accidentally saying something that seems insignificant to you. Yeah, like let's say that then. you said the word cowabunga mm -hmm. instead of it being this fifties or I don't know when that was a popular word. You said it in the nineteen hundreds, and yeah. kids started saying that. You've just mm -hmm. changed the whole. Um, yeah. human dynamic. Yeah. Which is why I have it. I can't say Not I dynamic, like those movies because this is where my mind goes. Yeah. I'm like mental well, noting uh, all the discrepancies. So and in this particular thing, there's a door, mm -hmm. so to speak, that they go through to get to this time. It's not a machine they get in, it's like a, a loophole. Yeah. So Turner and Portal. I. We're talking the dear. Mm -hmm. I finally had to ask him to stop talking to me, um, <clears throat> but we decided that you could just get rich <laughs> off of bringing car parts back. <laughs> like you could bring a whole car back because you yeah. can't bring a whole car. You'd have to take it apart. But you could bring a fender back. Mm -hmm. You know, you could bring different pieces back, Definitely. and um, that would be a trip. Yeah, that'd be cool. All the weird little things that you could bring back with you. You'd have a heck of an eBay site. You like, would. Maybe that's where some people, like, with all those matchbooks stacked up. And stuff. <laughs> maybe they're they time are. travelers. They got it. it was like, you don't know dang where it. The they leaves. come back every time they tra time travel and dump their pockets out, and there's another matchbook. <laughs> every time. I would bring back some disease on the bottom of my shoe. That's what I would do. I mean, like, I get bit by mosquito, and then yeah, like, malaria would be rampant thing. in yeah. my little community. Whew. That just got really hot for some reason. Never interested in time travel. Never been a, you know, like oh, I wish I could go back in time. Oh, oh no. I wish I, you know. I figure I messed that up bad. And enough then the why first all time? these time travel <laughs> shows want to like 
correct history. Mm. Like, you know, all those big events in history. I mean, I haven't figured that out other than just the entertainment factor of being a well known topic so they can incorporate it into the storyline. Right. Line. And but everybody come can on, follow Let's along. all be honest. If if it were a possibility and any one of us had it, we weren't nobody was going back to try to save the world. No, I would want to go back. back for our own like to see what it smelled like and yeah. you know, in Dodge City. Like when all the cows are in the road, or well, I'd want to go ride back the and Oriental see my Express. dad and his brothers as little kids. Yeah, you know, yeah. or my mom as a young kid. Or We'd be like, you know, be suiting personal. our own fancies. Yeah. We, and then if if there was time, <laughs> I might rewrite history. I don't know. <laughs> and then which one event do you pick? Right, because you can go all the way. I mean, do you just kill Oz? Oswald's um Oswald's mother so he's never born right I mean there's a the in this particular show Mm -hmm. they can only go back to the same day so anytime they leave they can only go back to the same exact time during the exact same day so they can't go further back than that but my luck while I was over there the the portal would building that the portals in would burn down and I wouldn't be able to they wouldn't build it because I would have, like, ran yeah. the lumber truck off the road or something. It it would have been disastrous. The, the, uh, the side plots in that were... Uh, yeah, I'm kind of getting a little disgusted Maybe that's by because Bill. of who wrote it. Maybe. But I don't like the Bill character, the kid. Um, I don't... They, it's like they've tried to make him a knight in shining armor, but he's come off skeevy, and yeah, I don't, I don't know what's. going I'm only on the fifth episode, so I don't know what's going to happen yet. But that's okay. Oh, I had another little creative breakthrough. You know, my art piece, <sighs> my wall quilt, art quilt. That's what it's called. Art quilt. Yes. Um, <clears throat> you know, I want something on the outside. I woke up knowing exactly what I'm going to put on it. Wow. I'm going to make out of the same pieced fabric that I have scraps of. I'm going to make circles and just do some circles here and circles up there and call it good. I like it. Jeff's throwing away like two keyboards. <clears throat> so I think I'm going to pop all the letters off for a different project uh-huh. so that I can spell. Surely with two keyboards, I can come up with a, a quite a few stuff, words. Yeah. yeah. And they don't all have to be those. I have Scrabble tiles and stuff too, but I thought I might have a canvas that has something else on it that I bought, like with the, in this family we give Mm -hmm. second chances. Like, um, we don't at our house, so it's a lie. So (laughs) I didn't tell anybody I bought it, and I hung it in the bathroom, and Turner came out. It was funny. It was more of a joke than anything, but it's a long, skinny thing. So I thought if I turned it this way, I could write out. That's cool. Maybe a scripture verse. Cause That'd that's, be cool. Yeah. I think it'd be really cool. Anything you do is going to be awesome. <laughs> it will be. It absolutely will be. I feel um, Monday was a rough mental day for me. And, uh, again, part of why we didn't do the podcast on Monday. But after I come out of those... I'm super creative. That's like, good. It's like all the blocks are gone. It's like mm-hmm. I, I almost have to have those. That's good. Um, it's a good thing that I don't do drugs or drink because that would probably I would probably use those to get into that state and then come out of it. But um, yeah, I, I'm lucky that was just kind of like a one day deal because uh, it's usually not. But so I have like a bunch of answers to things. That, That's really good. Yeah, feels good. And I was thinking, I need to go to the Blue Whale. Totally random, change of subject. But I'm wondering, I need to look and see if it's open. It's on Route 66. It's a giant blue whale, and it's in a pond, and there's a slide that comes out of it. And you crawl up in it to get on the slide. I went to it when I was a kid, but I was thinking, Turner might really like that. Yeah. It's just a couple hours away. Yeah. Just drive the turn back. And seeing it's on Route 66, we'd probably hit a couple other things. Oh, Side note, mm-hmm. the that stuff I was sending you about that other trail. Yeah, we need to drive that route. Okay, I really want to see all those obelisks that yes. they road march. Yeah, what? That with. Yeah, what? But 
it's the Ozark o- Ozark Trail. Ozark yeah. Trail. When yeah, when cars first kind of started Oklahoma was one of the last places to apparently have an actual road so people by nature would drive across fields and farmland from point A to point B so there became some natural some trails they weren't natural but man-made trails that they kind of deemed to be a highway and then at one point they started marking them with these 21 foot concrete uh, ob- obelisk mm-hmm. and was the top white and the bottom was painted green? Is that what I it think said? they were painted green so they would be recognizable? Like, so you, so you knew... wouldn't confuse it with the other obelisk? Uh huh. Or they had know. green arrows on them so you would know. Oh, they had a green arrow so you know to turn left or right when you got to it. Yeah, and the name of the town you were headed yeah. to next. Something so like that. One side would have a name, the other side mm-hmm. would have a different name. Yeah. But anyway, yes, let's do that. Yeah. Cause and it goes like. Yeah, there's only... Far, it goes, like, from, like, up the Missouris all the Uh way down Oklahoma, down into, you know, like, Texas and uh, California. They mapped out what was, like, the Ozark Trail, but they would put out a publication, which I looked for and I couldn't find one on eBay or anything, that would um, tell people they could read it and know what was at that location and what to expect, like, if there was a diner... Or if um, there was lodging or where to get... Like a travel guide. Petrol. Mm -hmm. Gas for your car. Uh, So it was, like, very informative. But it allowed people to make a safer journey um, because you were really going into the unknown or unexpected at that point. Tell you, like, if rivers could be expected to be bad at what time and what to do. So there's, if I remember, there's two... Still in Still Oklahoma, standing. and then there's a third one that's a reproduction in, is it Guthrie? I don't remember where. Ooh, that's it. So, um, yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, I'd like to do that. That'd be fun. Grove. Grove. Was the reproduction, or was the original? I don't, I don't remember. remember. I read that like two days ago. It's like, mm-hmm. <laughs> I, hate, I hate my memory. <laughs> I thought it'd be fun just to see. Apparently, you do a lot of turning. Yeah, because um, if I read <laughs> that long article you sent me, they would do it by the section miles. So wherever people's property was, you would turn on mm-hmm. the property border. Mile so turn. Yeah. yeah. Turn. <laughs> it's interesting. Look. Yeah. Oh my goodness! All of us had her feel of the kittens, and she was on the couch asleep, and her head was facing out. And the kittens have discovered her yeah. in, in the last few days, like uh-huh. really discovered her. Um, prior to that, they would just hump up and run away when something yeah. big would come through. It didn't have to be her, just anything. But now they're recognizing the mm-hmm. shape, I think, of her. And it jumped up and slapped her right on the face. And she barked. And it was like she hit an eject button. That kitten launched itself like three feet backwards, and it was already humped up. Uh-huh. And, it, and then it got under the coffee table and laid there and just watched her. And she just hung her head off and stared at it like, do it again. It was a mom warning. Yeah, it was. It was so funny. Mm-hmm. I get it, though, because they've discovered the living room the last week or two. And so they don't stay in the back of the house. They're all over the place knocking stuff over if you have a drink sitting out there mm-hmm. in it like investigating it yeah and then <laughs> yeah <laughs> and then i made the mistake i downloaded this mouse game for them Fun. um let's see if i can find it because i want to make it squeak um so i've when they were little, I would just set this down to watch them because it would crack me up. But, oh, I think I have that turned down. Hang on. Why isn't it working? Oh. When you hit it, that's what it does. Oh, it's, and they can slap it. Well, I've downloaded a couple of other games. It's a little mouse that crawls across the screen and they slap it. Uh-huh. I downloaded a fish and bugs that kind of do the same thing. Uh-huh. And that's cool. Um, now 
forgotten will sit right here and I'll go through TikTok. And if somebody comes in, you know, you just let it run through. He'll push the next one up. <laughs> it's like he already knows how to watch TikTok. He's yeah. really interested, or she, I really don't know. Even kittens are raised on technology yes. these days. Um, she really likes to watch the dog ones, which crack me up. She'll slap them it. on the phone. I absolutely believe it. Animals are smart. They are so smart. They're entertaining. Good souls. Most animals. There's a few off ones. There are. Still suspicious about butters. <laughs> I still don't know how you can sleep with them in the house. <laughs> I got to thinking, you know. There's like... The Lion King, there's Mufasa, uh -huh. and then there's that old reject brother Scar. Yes. I'm like, he's like a baby Scar. That's what he is. Yeah. He's just like, he's just not going to be the good guy. <laughs> no no matter what. He's just born to be bad. Oh, goodness. And that's okay. It's all good. Well, we did it. We did it. We podcasted this we week. We did. I'm excited about that. Is this a podcast or a vlog? I always say podcast, but I mean, is it's, it a vlog? It's a vlog. It's kind of what But I, I don't like that word, so I say podcast. But that's just me. We could call it a vlog. <laughs> Enunciate. <laughs> it's our video diary. Is that it then? <laughs> okay. See you guys See ya. later. <laughs>